taking a cup of tea up to my driver to wake him up so we can head off for today's competition. Brody's all ready to go. Hi, good boy, Brody. You all ready? Note to self, do not pull mane too short before eventing season. So I'm afraid you've got more voiceovers from me because the uh, sound quality is atrocious. You can't hear anything that Charlie's trying to say because it was so windy. Um, so yeah, you're stuck with me again. And I've also got a slight cracked windscreen. Um, well, not windscreen, but it was on my case cover. So I excuse the um, angelic light shining in on the right. So Brody was very relaxed again and um, and just uh, having a canter to get off his back. Um, his trot tends to get better after he's had a canter. Um, and just standing off his back and just trying to get him to loosen up a bit. He's very short coupled, Brody, and. Um, not tight I've had his back done he has a massage he's, he's 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 always loose and relaxed through his muscles he's not one-sided but I just wonder whether because he is so short coupled and so muscly um he sometimes comes out a little bit oh, I don't know it's difficult it's not tight um but uh yeah Charlie's looking at the Eddie Stobart lorry <laughs> Made me laugh, sorry. Um, anyway, if Brody's really excited, he comes out with a really exuberant, flashy trot. And when he's not excited, because he is very chilled, it's a little bit meh. It's a little bit ordinary. I can't believe I'm saying that because he's not ordinary at all, but um, it's just not very flashy. And I've uh, if, when I have lessons, I have lessons with Trish Gardner and Janice, um, and we get a much better trot out of him. Um, but left to my own devices, I struggle to get it out of him very easily. Um, so, before I went into this competition, I wanted to go and see somebody I, I really wanted somebody else to sit on him um, because I get incredible help and instruction from Trish and Janice um, but I just felt that I might get a little bit more out of it if somebody sat on him so watch till the end because it's good anyway he's warming in nicely He's doing some nice work. He's behaving himself. I was really pleased with him. He wasn't too bothered. He can be a bit funny with a lot of fast traffic going past, but he was, he was good actually, he was very chilled. quite pleased I was quite pleased with the feeling he was giving me um, and I'm just about to go in now Charlie's just saying he looks quite relaxed um, he was quite relaxed made some I didn't get the best mark I can't remember what I got now um, I mean I was about 12th after the dressage so I'm not I'm not complaining with that and they were all um, 
they were all fair comments however she did say on several times could be more relaxed and that's the only thing I didn't really agree with because he felt so chilled but maybe she was seeing something else don't know um, and there were very few marks in it, so I'm being really picky. Sound like right miserable old bag. He's so pretty. That looks quite nice. Quite a nice trot in there. A swing in his tail. It was very windy. I'm convinced I've got uh, the right bit either it's only a it's a rubber straight bar <clears throat> a flexible a flexi one um it's definitely i've tried a couple this is definitely the best one he goes in but he's a little bit he's very sensitive in his mouth that's quite nice it wasn't the best transition but it wasn't bad that was quite nice mind you wouldn't really want to be described as quite nice would you look at that you see he's stretching down he's walking out nicely ages ago now. I mean that looks nice Kenta. Maybe just tucked in a little bit there. I feel like I've been going around for ages. I think I'm doing a serpentine now. A little bit. I'm a little bit unsettled when you get to the change of bend actually that one wasn't as bad as the other one now I would say that that's coming from me I'm and actually yeah, actually it's interesting watching this because I know what's going to come at the end of this vlog and it is highlighted uh, in the help I get um, I don't know why I'm being cagey about it I, I decide I'm going to see Pippa so um, to get some help Not square, wide behind. Anyway, not too bad. I thought he looked. I, I thought he looked the best I've ever seen him. Oh, well, that's good. But I don't really. I've never, I've never really paid much attention. But today I did, to be fair. Yeah. It was definitely my transitions were better than last week. I just wondered at times whether the top was a bit, a bit flat, a bit too round, yeah, a bit over the bed, a bit low, whole low. A bit staged. Yeah, maybe. Um, just didn't bloody stand square, did he? Yeah. I think the more I watch it, the more I understand what it's all about. Obviously, I haven't got a clue about the thing, but are well, you pleased, yeah? He looked right. The commentator got lost walking the course. Even though the fences. Oh, 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 oh,
Martinol, Martinol cross country course. It's Martin on a cross country course. Now it's just in Ward, this is at Billy Brody, number 121. How's that? Yeah, good. Jump nice. Little bit. The ground's a bit dead. Is it? Yeah. He's cutting up though, alright? It's not. Yes, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he looked good. He looked like he wasn't probably fighting you quite so much. Yeah. Every now and again he was. Yeah. But, yeah. And it looked like you cut into number two tight. Yeah. Which made him more concentrated. No, no, well you've got to ride it like you want to. Yeah. You felt, do you feel a little bit better? Okay. Look good. He gives them so much air, doesn't he? Another two foot and a half over the top. I've left this little clip in because this is the extent of what Charlie got cross country. That's it. That's all we got. Um, so not not a good job. Right. Yeah, good. I, I did say it's out to you to slow down. You got about four time penalties. Yeah. I, I think so. Got about thirty-seven now. Pratt. You've Good boy. Are you ready for home? I can only fly with six now. I can see over. them. Coming over right over the top of them. Now, I know I'm biased, but boy, isn't he handsome. Looking good, Brody. Nice shiny coat, um, and yeah, it's looking quite fit. So thankfully we got this recording as Charlie just recorded his pocket. Um, yeah, Brody set off well. They've actually missed the first fence out. So that was the second fence, jumped that nicely. This was on a curving line, he was quite keen. I don't think I went that quick, but when I got after the corner, I thought I'd kick on, I thought I'd go steady till the corner, and then I'd kick on a bit. He jumped that one nicely.
I think the time must have been quite easy because the week before at Osby, it was four minutes 20 and this week it was five minutes 27. But it didn't seem a lot longer to walk, so I think it must have been a slower time. It must have been. This is meant to be an easy three strides, but he actually well, they found them quite tight. Second part was better. You think he's... We're getting ready to move up a stage because he's starting to make it feel easy. Um, so, yeah, we're, we're getting ready. There was a lot of people running out at this. Uh, but he was a good boy. Now I kick on. It wasn't a very difficult course. There were a lot of runouts at the corner, but everything else was pretty straightforward. So a good early run for the beginning of the season. Slightly got lost after this one. I, I nearly missed this fence out. I was setting off over to the left and then thought, oh, OK, there's a fence there. Jump this one nicely. Not sure what my left arm's doing. at this point that I thought I'd got three fences left to go and I looked at my clock and I thought, well, 35 seconds, that's not too bad. And then I realised that I'd actually only got two fences to go. And I thought, oh, something. I'm a bit quick. Very good boy. Well, I'm very clever boy. Uh, back home, very pleased. Nice dressage, didn't get the best mark. Nice double clear. I went a bit quick. Mm. A little bit of a miscalculation on my behalf. But he was brilliant cross country, very pleased. So now, back in time for me to ride one. Yay! Back home from the event, just going for a quick hack. But it literally looks like it's going to tip it down, so we won't be very long. That's his tail! <laughs> Oi! What are you doing? So he's come back, he's done his one day event. Look at him, he still looks mega. It's fantastic. Having his supper. Um, really pleased with him. Slight um, speed issues on behalf of the jockey. I went a bit quick. But doesn't he look fab? Come on in! Come on in! Hey, good boys! Hey, good boys! Oh, he's so handsome. Oh, we're going to have a good schooling session today, aren't we, Brody? Yes. Good boys. I'm so excited for boot camp. Um, 
And I thought I'd better get him tossed up a bit because the horses there will be immaculately turned out and looked after. So we've got to look our best, Brody, haven't we? A very handsome boy to get ready. Going on a very exciting trip. Um, I'm very lucky that one of my very dear friends is quite possibly one of the best riders in the world. And I'm going to stay with her for some help with Brody. So I'm just going to get him buffed up and then we're going to go. We're heading off a little bit late, sorry. Bloody sat-navs. So I rode first and then Pippa had a sit on. I'm going to leave the commentary because um, it's just sacrilege to talk over. Um, but then I'll do a little breakdown afterwards of what we really discussed because obviously you're only getting snippets of what we did. Um, so I rode him, Pip then sat on him, and then I got back on him. And then day two, I so just rode him. More contact. Back onto his hind leg. Yeah. <laughs> so then I can almost um, push him out in front of me. Yeah. Not the uphill. Balance. Which is what I mean, Janice has been saying that to me to to rise slower. It does look a nice at trot. It's not nice. <laughs> You're the energy. Yeah. So it comes uphill. Yeah. So he develops a bit of cadence. going be brave so it doesn't mean it doesn't mean faster it just means ride that iron leg to change his balance and let him come up so don't try and pull him down good good let him come let him come keep your rise in the same and change the rein think of keeping him very straight let him travel ride that hind leg Better there. Yep. Inside leg to outside rein. So he doesn't fall in through the ribs through these corners. Good. Make him use his hind leg through these turns. So don't let him cheat on the corners. So use the corners to get his hind leg under. Good. Now let him come up again. In front. Yeah. Body. Rock him so you sit him and then you soften so it's just every full stride then you leave him and let him a bit more forward and let him carry himself. Good. Self carriage. Now be, go large. Still do it every full stride and, and, and really lighten and, and think uphill. And now when you, when you, um, after you've rocked him, almost let him canter a bit bigger there and, and sit him again and then release him forward again. That's it. And do it with your upper body and your leg there. Cause now he's now the, okay. We just lost the mouth a bit and now forward with the arm again. That's it. Good. Balance. So if you find you lose the mouth a little bit, if you lose the mouth, you need to change the balance. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. So 
The mouth is only an indication of his balance and the hind leg. Yeah. So, good. Now let him bigger again. Very good. That looks nice there. How does that feel? Yeah. No, that feels nice. Oh. Now we've lost him again. Now, when you lose him, when you lose him, you've got to ride the hind leg and soften the front end. So when he comes against you, I'd almost rather you soften the front end and just ride the hind leg a bit like what we did in walk yeah. is when he when he struggles and you lose him just release it forward a touch so you put inject a bit of energy to it to help you yeah yeah good now forward again get the arm forward good use your upper body now arm forward here Woo! sounds like something was cast Use this energy. Keep still. Use the energy. Balance. You're still using your balance. You're still using your upper body. You're still closing the leg. That's it. Sitting away from the hand. Good. And then somewhere along this long side, do a transition to trot. And sit still and see what he gives you. Waiting. Hind leg. Good. Think of his balance. Uphill. Follow with the hand. Let him come. Let him ride the hind leg. And change the rein. Let him come up. Let him come up. Release it bigger. Keep your balance. Release it bigger. Soft, follow with the hand a bit more. That's it. That's it. Ride that hind leg. Ride that hind leg. That's it. Go with him. Change the rein again. Use your upper body. Ride that hind leg forward and through. Good. Deep into the corners. I'm just looking at his legs. Round the inside leg. Hold that inside leg there. Go okay. large. S good outline. Send him into it. Good. Little field on the outside rein before the turn and then through the turn. Good. Eyes up. Get the pole on a diagonal. It doesn't matter which one. Balance in and then send him into the contact. Straight. Tall. Left leg, in, right leg into left rein and send him into it. Good. That's it. Little bit more around the left, the inside leg in that corner. Good. So you're not pulling back to get it. If you feel he's dropping it, you use your, you use your leg and send him into it. Good. So you ride that hind leg forward. Good. Good. Very good. Be braver. So we're gradually working towards medium. Send him into it. Let go of your knee, inside leg. Send him into it. Right leg. Keep the hand still and think forward with the hand. But it's not throwing it away. Yeah, so you, you think forward with the hand, but you're riding the hind leg, so he's taking that contact forward. Good, bigger, bigger, bigger. Good. Now slow the rising, but keep the leg, so you just keep that energy, but just slow the rising. Good. Change the rein. Get a pole. Balance him. Don't pull back. Inside leg, outside rein. Send him into it. Leg. Good. Build on it. So a little uphill balance. Sit away from the hand and build on it. He can come up a touch in front. So... Don't be afraid to kick him again. 
Keep your balance when you use your leg. Let him come up. Now let him come. Let him come. Let him come. So you release him. Let him come. Left leg, right rein. Left leg, right rein. Good. 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 Now slow the rising again, but don't take the leg off. So you're riding that hind leg as if you're riding for medium, but you're sitting for a slower trot. Good. 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 This is better. Yeah. How does it feel? Yeah, it feels a, a better trot. Bigger trot. Yeah. Just... Then get your trot poles again over the middle. Don't collapse. Don't collapse. Stay tall. So when you come over the middle, just slow your rising, but keep riding the hind leg. It's tall. Good. Inside leg. You're a little bit slow to pick him up with your inside leg when you were coming this way, yeah? Good. Let him come. Let him come bigger. This is a good trot. That's it. Keep the leg. Balance him. Oh dear. Yep, so you lost your balance there. Yeah. You lost your balance and then he felt it in the mouth. So you've got to do more on your approach. So as you turn the corner at E, just slow, the, slow his legs down. Slow your rising, slow his legs down, let him reach. Better, better. Yeah. Yeah, because he stayed big and you kept your balance. Yeah. Right, I've just done five minutes of videoing then. Do that once more, we're still videoing, and go the other way. But you need to be thinking the same thing. Preparation, and you need to be thinking early enough as you're going through the poles that you're changing the position. Good. Well done. I didn't mind that because even though he travelled, you still followed. You didn't lose your balance. Good. And be quick to pick up this inside leg. Good. Stay tall and keep asking for more. Sit away from the hand and again, let the pole come up a bit. Leave him up there. Leave him up there. Leave him up there. Leave him there and ride that hind leg. That's it. That's good. I don't even mind that he's a bit high there. Because the balance has come better because that's what you need to feel is that he's he's actually better in that balance yeah so i'm doing i am good don't let him roll back over again that's it that's it that's it good good and keep reminding the the left hind leg as well so you might have to say just say tap tap with the left leg yeah, but again, you keep the rising the same. If you want to get a bit more left hind, you keep your rising the same so you don't tighten. And now follow with the hand a bit more. That's it. Hello, darling. <laughs> Great lesson. Fantastic. Bodie's now drying off on the walker. I don't know whether he's been on a walker before, but he's taking to it quite well. He probably has. Oh, we're home. We've had a really long journey because I took the wrong route. Um, but he's been amazing. He's worked really hard. Had a fantastic lesson with Pepper. I can't thank her enough. Um, it's just been amazing. 
So really, really pleased. But we're home, Brody. Oh, he deserves a nice kip and an extra feed. So when with my lesson with Pepper, we we worked on things that we've been working on with Brody, which is trying to get a little bit more activity from the back end, um, a little bit more swing in the trot, and um, by what we've been doing is collecting him and then sending him on a bit and and just making him sit on his back end to push off his back leg. But what was interesting was when Pepper sat on him, um, she said that actually his balance wasn't great he wasn't in true self-carriage um he was you know if you collected him he was quite wobbly and either changed the pace or changed the you know his straightness um and this is probably mainly i think because i've been slightly masking it and and supporting him rather than asking him to balance himself i've been slightly holding him together and, and focusing too much on, oh, he's not really taking a contact, um, rather than sort of having him in self-carriage and then pushing him from the back leg, um, from the hind leg, up to the contact. Um, so it really, really helped. And as a consequence, the trot got so much better. Um, and I think it looks great here. And it's a work in progress and he really feels like he's now supporting himself. So I, I, it was amazing. I can't thank her enough. Anyway, I'll finish with a little bit more of uh, our cross country from our last competition. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. Um, it's been a real pleasure to go down to Pippa's. It's really, really helped me. And I feel slightly revitalised. I feel like I've... Uh, I know... I felt like I was a little bit stuck. It was all going well and he was going well, but I, I needed a bit of a, a reset almost. And it's really, really helped. Um, I got quite emotional actually because I just feel like we're we're sort of ready to keep improving again. And it's good to, you know, have a re-evaluation and it's, it's really helped anyway. So really looking forward to our next competition, which is coming up this week. Um, I hope you enjoyed uh, the vlog. Uh, if you did, give me a like, leave me a comment, share it far and wide. Bye.